What's up, guys? Welcome back to my This is the Police, the the greatest. This is the Police Let's Play on YouTube. I'm your host, Babs. This is episode 10. We've reached double digits, and I think this will be the first Let's Play that I've reached double digits on so far. Um, so let's make it a good one. Right now, we are stuck between which gang am I going to help out? Am I going to help out Sand? Or am I going to help out the Vargas? Or and am I not going to do anything and probably get myself killed? Find out in this episode and the episodes that follow. I'm assuming that you will find out because I haven't played them yet. Let's read these headlines. City crime rate increased by 31%. Oh, great. That's probably because of the gang gang war or the mafia war. Uh, Mayor's nephew expresses desire to become FPD chief. Good for him. Freeburg farmers report record harvest. So that's good. At least something good's happening in Freeburg. Third time's a charm clutch. <clears throat> Almost forgot. Uh, Kochi didn't come into work today. Uh oh. Isn't she? Um, she was one of the people that got pulled uh, pulled from the. Uh, inspection, dude. Yeah, so is he. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. We still have a pretty good roster here. Um. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. All right, start the day. Let's pick. Let's see. I don't really have a lot of money, but I've been thinking about buying another song here. Snag it by Lynn Bernard. Um. Late Hour, Pierce Pickering, Barrel House, Jazz Band. This track is so rich and delicious that it could feed all the starving children in the world. Chimin by John Sangster. Let's try this one. Oh, that's too expensive. Any more? No. Let's do this one then. Oh, it's not available? I accidentally clicked through that. It said it wasn't available until like July 31st or something. So I guess I pre-ordered it. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Wait, is this it? Temptation Blue? No, but we'll go ahead and listen to this one. I guess I pre-ordered that other record. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Start our day here. Let's take a look over here, see if anything's changed. Um, still don't have any slots. Wonder if I can ask for upgrades. Yeah, I don't think it's been long enough to ask for some upgrades. But uh, city hall, there it is. Yeah, one more day. They're not gonna give me anything though. They hate me. Don't have enough money to do anything because I just pre-ordered a record. All right. Uh, the Sands need help. Our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sands' movements, and we spotted a punk carrying a gun. There's sure to be a few more of the bastards lurking nearby. Let's get together and turn the tables on this slime ball crew. No. Nope. I get three days. It, it was what was it? Uh, Sand. I need well, Van. Uh, whatever. I remember it subconsciously. Deconstruction of property. Constitution. Two thousand acres. Or coin. Coinstitution. 2,000 acres. The attendant at the arcade called in a complaint about two teenagers who broke the steering wheel off the turbo nitro machine and are currently fleeing the scene. Well, we can't let that happen. So we'll send in Birch and we'll send in Yancey. Go get them, boys. Wait, where's Birch Jr.? Did he die? Or no, I had Birch work the next day. That's why. All right. Uh, municipal assignment. The wife of the mayor's press secretary loves cho uh, choral singing. Today's her birthday, so please send some men with good voices. Oh, do they have to be men? How about this? I'll send you Smith, who failed Academy. Hopefully they're good at singing. Relatable. I did that because I need City Hall to give me some upgrades. And I have really been pooping on their birthdays constantly. All right. Nice job, Yancey and Birch. 
Proud of you guys. Keep it up. We need, we need, we need, we need more of that. Illegal arms sales in the ghetto. An eyewitness reports that a man is selling weapons on the street right out of the trunk of his car. Someone's getting shot every night around here. You need to finally do something. All right. Well. City Hall has my officers singing at their birthday, so I guess that's more important than this, which is only mildly frustrating and makes me want to pull my hair out. Guess we'll send everyone we got here. Seems like a pretty big deal. There's a lot of guns involved. This could, that could get bad. Could send SWAT at least. And it looks like we're getting back Birch and Nancy. There we go. All right, what's next? The Vargas need help. Um, Mr. Varga told us to bring him a van full of fruit, but Sands men caught up with our driver on the bridge and they're throwing the shipment into the river. Maybe you can get there quickly enough to save a box or two of the oranges. Yeah, we'll send Birch. So they said I have to uh, complete half of the Vargas requests if I want them to win, I guess. I, I don't know why I care. I really don't care at all. Maybe I shouldn't be sending a cop to do this. Oh my gosh, moral dilemmas. From a gameplay standpoint, it seems like it'll be a lot more fun if I choose one of these gangsters to, to side with, or I try to backstab Sand. But in the long run, I'm still just helping out another gangster and it'd be better off if they just, you know, if we either apprehended them both or something of that nature, I guess. I guess if I can get Varga, this is my plan. Okay, I just came up with it in my head. Um, if I get Varga on my side to think that I'm helping him, he takes out Sand and then I take out Varga uh, somehow. Uh, cause that, that's going to be more fun than just not doing anything. I think morals aside, let's do it. Oh no. And I can't send SWAT. All right. This is, which, this is the one with all the guns. This is, this could be bad. I don't have enough cops. I don't have enough cops. These guys are all pretty high star ratings though. This could be bad. Uh, I don't feel good. I don't, I got a pretty bad feeling about that. Oh, the city has set me up for failure. Can't do anything about it. Thank God the cops. I'm not going to have any of them back either. I can send SWAT. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Firefight at the port. A dock worker sighted several armed men making their way between some cargo containers. Soon after, he heard several shots and some screams. The precise number of armed men is unknown, but poor officials report seeing at least five people. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to have any cops back. Well, these guys are coming back, it looks like. Sand needs our help? I don't care. One of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some punks. Boxes of towels, napkins, and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus slideshow. Sideshow. They're having a laugh and making us look like clowns, too. We're not too broken up about the towels, but we will still need to teach those punks a lesson. Can't. Can't do it. I'm just hoping people come back in time to do this port thing. All right, we're sending SWAT. We're sending our paddy, paddy wagon. Um, we'll send Mitchell, Purdy, Robbins, and Yancey. Do I send Birch too? Because something else just popped up, but I don't have time to look at it before this timer runs out. I feel like this is a pretty big deal, though. That's all I can do. That's all I can send. I don't have the officers for this. What's this? 
Mr. Boyd, I feel bad about coming to you again, but you're really the only one who can help with this. Those records that my ex sued me over, well, I got them back, of course, and I guess this could be nothing, but her big-nosed brother and his had his sights on them. The idiot even hired a private detective who's been at my store three days straight, and now he has the audacity to come to my house and accuse me of being involved in the record's disappearance. I don't know if he has any evidence, but the risk is just too high. Can you scare them both? Make sure they stop poking their noses into other people's business. My store is open for you anytime. I don't got time for that bull crap. Suspicious individual. Former psychiatric patient Labaco Clark called the police because a maniac was harassing people at the mall. According to the Laboco, there's a killer on the loose who will stop at nothing. Well, all we got's Birch, so go get yourself killed, Birch. See ya, buddy. The sands need help. I've already done the, yeah, I'm not doing that. Man, I need more cops. Uh, the Vargas need help. The guys were outside having a beer and sands people open fire at us. Aren't the police supposed to do something about when that happens? Yeah, but I don't have any police. All right, here we go. This is the big one. Uh, the police detachment arrived on the scene and found three corpses and six criminals armed with automatic weapons surrounding a cargo container. The criminal spotted the police and two of them already rushed to escape. Fire a couple warning shots into the air. Well, you know how I feel about shooting into the air. Everybody freeze and put your hands on your head. Shoot at the criminals. We'll do this one. The remaining criminals are hiding inside a shipping container. You're surrounded, come out with your hands up, begin the assault, uh, improvise a way to smoke them out. I think we'll give them the, come out with your hands up. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, we got some cocaine. Hmm, maybe I should sell that. Moral dilemma here, boys. I need money. Actually, I don't even need money. What do I need money for? The only thing I, I've been able to like really use money for is sending my guys to Academy. And then that barbecue I had one time, which I don't even know what it did. I think it increased their stamina. So we're going to bring that to the police station. What's going on here? Oh, I don't have anybody. If I have time, I think I'll send somebody there because that seems like an easy one. Um, what? Uh, the man's suspicions were... Oh, nice job. This is the one I sent Birch to by itself. The man's suspicious, suspicions were aroused by a shopping center employee wearing a costume. He was dressed as the hero from the movie Dressed in Blood. He was pretending to menace visitors as part of the fun, but he wasn't going to kill anyone. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the false alarm. Yeah, anyways, like I was going to say, I think I'll send one of my guys to this because, like, I need to do half of his questions, and this will be he or half of his favors, and this will be two for today, so I'll be up on that. I can skip some. So we'll go ahead and send Yancey. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be good because it's going to be hard. I can't. Oh, we got another thing here. What happened? We got him. Oh, my gosh. We did it. I actually thought. Okay. I thought I was worried I didn't send enough people to that. I sent all I could, though. Uh, once again, I don't, I mean, the money would be nice and all, but like I just explained, I don't really know what all I can do with the money. So there are some things that I can do with the deputy here that it costs like a lot of money, like 50 grand. And, uh, some of them seem to be pertain pertaining to paying people off from snitching on me. But if I just don't do this illegal stuff... Although I am helping out the mafia occasionally to save myself and my family. 
that left me and don't care about me and left me on the side of the road alone, broken. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Bring to the police station. Let's read what those are. Yeah, buy silence. Convince your employee not to testify against you. 12 grand. Uh, consulting detective, an experienced but retired detective who will assist your investigations for a modest fee. See, it'd be nice to have that. Um, I don't know if that's one investigation that he helps with, but it says investigations, plural. So I wonder if he just kind of works with me now. That'd be, that'd be great, but I don't think I'm going to get 50 grand. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the, not a, not a whole lot for what I can do with the money. I can buy records, but every time I play a new song, I'm just worried it's going to get copyrighted. Or copyright claimed. All right. Is that it? End of the day? Well, I don't think anybody died today. Um, I actually don't think we messed up anything. It was a pretty good day overall. Pat ourselves on the back. See if uh, we get a cut scene here. Yeah, the Vargas got two. I don't know what this means. Leader. Hmm. Kind of wish I remember the exact wording of what they told me. I think they said, I can't, I'm trying not to die here because they said Stan's going to kill me. I think if the Vargas are ahead for three days in a row. Okay. Um, yeah, shift A is my strong shift, so I shouldn't have anybody go help shift A. Okay, thanks for helping out today, Birch. Man, every day you just look like you're melting. Make sure you get a good night's sleep tonight. He's probably gonna ask for the day off tomorrow. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for that episode. That was episode 10. I feel like we did pretty good there. Um, didn't really mess anything up, I hope. I'm still a little bit confused about the gangs and why I have to help them. Um, I get that I don't want to be killed by sand. I get that. But why do I care about Vargas? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Um, maybe that'll be cleared up in the future. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.